Welcome to your Friday lesson. Now we're going to do our spelling check. There are six spellings. <clears throat> the spellings are words you have been learning throughout the week with double consonants. I will read each word out twice. Please write the word on a piece of paper. Good luck. Your first word is immediate. Immediate. Your second word is immediately. Immediately. Your third word is aggressive. Aggressive. Your fourth word is exaggerate. Exaggerate. Your fifth word is excellent. Excellent. Your sixth word is especially. Especially. I'll go over the spellings again just in case you missed one. So number one is immediate. Number two is immediately. Number three is aggressive. Number four is exaggerate. Number five is excellent. Number six is especially. Okay, let's mark these. Number one, immediate. I double M E D I A T E. Your second spelling is immediately. That is spelt I double M E D I A T E L Y. Immediately. Number three is aggressive. A double G R E double S I B E. Number four is exaggerate. E X A double G E R A T E. Number five is excellent. E X C E double L E N T. And number six is especially E S P E C I A double L Y. Good luck with those. I hope you did well. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next slide. Okay, so here are your idioms for this week. These are now number idioms. So, take 40 winks or at sixes and sevens, back to square one. You might have heard of some of these. Read through and just make sure you understand how these are used. Okay, I'll move on to the next slide. So, English lesson number 11. So today we're going to be able to write a short summary and to edit your work. So to summarise my writing, I can improve my use of punctuation. I can improve the vocabulary I have chosen. I can improve my sentence structure. For example, front of verbials, relative clauses, using simple, compound and complex sentences. Now that you have completed the main part of your report, you just need to write a brief summary. This is a summary below about pyramids. It reviews pyramids and gives information about work still going on today to discover more about them. So pyramids are fascinating, but there is still much that we don't know about them. Archaeologists continue their work in an attempt to discover more about the ancient world. So when we're looking at our summary of trenches, we can think about what happened after World War I. Were trenches used again? What was the overall effect of the trenches? Were they effective or is there, was, it, was there a better way that the warfare could have saved more soldiers? So I've got a few ideas here that you might use and reword in your own way. So 
The widespread use of trench warfare made World War I the deadliest conflict in global history up to that point in history. One in ten of all fighting forces in the, in the conflict were filled, killed. Due to the stress of continuous bombardment and being trapped within the trenches for long periods of time, many soldiers suffered from P from sorry PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder. Trench warfare was used again in World War Two and in the Korean War, but has not been used regularly during conflicts since then. There's a few ideas you could use as your final summary. As you can see from the pyramids, it only needs to be one or maximum two sentences long. This should be nice and brief, as Snoopy says in his little cartoon. Pause the video while you create your own summary. Okay, now that you've finished your summary, you finish your report. We are going to start looking at editing your work. We are going to try breakout groups again today, fingers crossed. Before we do, read through your entire report. Find one paragraph you would like help with to improve. Be ready to, to read this out to your group. Your friends will try to help you improve your writing. What could go wrong? <laughs> when we have finished our breakout group activities, edit your work as you would in class. Check in your spellings improving your vocab vocabulary choices, improve sentence structure using functional verbials or improving these and adding relative clauses. Now don't forget, everybody can improve their writing, even you. When you have finished, please send a photograph of what you have done to our email address in the year six email. Okay, thank you. During our next English lesson, you will publish your writing, focusing on your handwriting.